And the best place there, they are very expensive. Yeah, I'm talking about the best place. I'm not talking about the houses, the best place. So if you're Kenyan and you're going for the first time, you cannot go and just get a room, a home like things when you stay. It's, it's not like Kenya. You have to find a best place, like where other people are living and maybe there's a top decker or uh, like that. Your visa may be ranging from two years. So if you have to renew your contract, you have to renew uh, after every two years, after every two years. So you don't get a permanent uh, visa in Dubai. Life is not that easy there. But uh, through the mercy of God, everything is possible. Yes, I see it's possible. <laughs>
you just walk in and do an interview as a, at a certain days. So many people have found job through walk-ins. So if you're in Dubai, you have to have an inter a place where you have internet and you have to apply all your jobs online. All you have to see those walk-ins and go there to the company, walk in and do an interview for a certain day. So the main challenge is maybe you can go for those walk-ins and you find there are so many people. Sometimes it depends. If you're lucky enough, you get a job or you have to keep searching. Another thing, you can look for jobs online, those have been advertised, and you apply. And people really get job through uh, advertisement, uh, through online application. And I found so many people asking me, how uh, can you help me get a job in Dubai? Can you ask uh, someone who can help me, connect me? No, totally, it's a different, different country. This is not a country in Kenya where you can get a job connection. This is where you have to start for yourself. You have to apply for that job. You have to go for an interview and convince the interviewer that you're capable of, this, of doing that kind of job. You have to express your knowledge on that kind of job. But again, this is uh, one country I know they don't just employ you because uh, of your much qualification, but you have to show them you're capable of doing a certain job. So some people find themselves doing the kind of job, the, the, the kind of job they are doing is quite different from the kind of career they did. Yeah, and uh, that's uh, how maybe easy or hard it can be. Another thing, uh, when you're looking for those jobs, maybe you, you, you've gone to Dubai and you have maybe applied for one month visa, and within that one month visa, you want to apply for a job and get a job and get a place. Sometimes it's not maybe possible or it's possible, it depends with how God has blessed you. And uh, if you really want to look for a job, you, at least you can go for three months visa three months, at least there's a, a, a longer duration of looking for a job. And if you're lucky enough or God really wants to give you a job, you will find it. And there's also a process of the company giving you a visa. Sometimes they may want you to first of, to go back to your country or, or exit to another country, then you come back with a new employment visa. The, the, the other way, or you have to go office to office dropping your CV. So if you don't have a CV in Dubai, don't count yourself that you're going to get a job. It is your CV that is going to help you. You have to go dropping your CV from office to office, from the places you have had, they, they are going to hire. Those who have ad advertised for job, you can go on um, dropping your CVs and your you, you get that job, you're lucky for that job, of course they'll call you and they'll interview you. Some uh, of these things may sound called quite difficult, but really, really, that's the only way you get job in, the, uh, in those companies. That's the only process, either through online application, either through working interview, or maybe working from office to office dropping. Okay, another thing, it's about uh, people going there to look for a job. If you decide to take a visit visa and you want to stay in Dubai for like a month or three months, uh, if you stay for one month, it's uh, more risky. If you stay for three months, there are higher chances that you have enough time. But all this time, you have to make sure that you have money to take care of your meals. You have to make sure, for and uh, the best place there, they are very expensive. Yeah, I'm talking about the best place. I'm not talking about the houses, the best place. So if you're Kenyan and you're going for the first time, you cannot go and just get a room, a whole like things, and you stay. It's not like Kenya. You have to find a best place, like where other people are living, and maybe there's a top decker or uh, like that. This, this is a place where you get a best place, just a place where you can sleep and put your bag down the, the bed and you look for a job. But the good thing there, there is a lot of food in Dubai and there are a lot of uh, 
there are so many Kai people. For me, I say there are so many Kai people, and this is a one country. Even you find that the the the, the spirit of giving people, offering helps, it, it's quite high. It's not like I can say it's like here in Kenya. It's quite different. Uh, the Arabic people they are so generous in many ways, especially. The, um, if you're in trouble, if you're, they're really understanding, or you're in problem, they really understand you. The only thing they don't like is if you have uh, criminal cases. So during the three months, you have to make sure you have food, so you have uh, transport going from one place to another. Uh, those job hunting, you have to have money to do your CVs. You you must have money to each and every situation you need and life is not that easy there but uh, through the mercy of God everything is possible yes I see it's possible yeah there are people who have gone there maybe for three months they look for a job and they did not get it and they came back home and also there are people who went there and even from their first month they got a job and so everything depends life is uh, everyone it's different, uh, God's situations are different. So that's how you can really, really work out on, on that country. But uh, again, I say Dubai is a very beautiful country and uh, there's so many loving people. I like it. If the company is going to give you uh, an employment, your visa may be ranging from two years so if you have to renew your contract, you have to renew uh, after every two years, after every two years. So you don't get a permanent uh, visa in Dubai. It's only renewable uh, after every two years, after every two years. Yeah, that's uh, what I can tell you for now about employment. I don't know about uh, this specific situation. By the way, I hear there have been um, a pause for a visa application for Kenyan people. And if you're Kenyan, you, in your Dubai, you have to be very careful because uh, pe so many people have made it difficult for Kenyans to find visa. You have to follow the rules and regulations if you're in that country. So for at the moment, I don't know if uh, the, this uh, visa is being issued, but we really hope to go that this situation of COVID-19 will end and everything will go back to normal. So anyone uh, who would like to know much about uh, agents who are genuine, uh, maybe I can tell you some of the agents who are genuine. So if you have a question or you're really interested, you can DM me on my Instagram. I'm going to leave my Instagram page name on, on here and you can ask me any question, I can assist you. Yeah, that's what I can tell you for now. Uh, any other question, let me know or you can leave a comment on, on the description box. Thank you so much. I hope I have answered all your questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much and I hope to see you on the next video as soon as it's posted. Thank you. Bye for now.